Good on Oscar. There'll be people watching this that haven't seen it, the likes of his style before. Just talk us to explain exactly why he's holding the ball the way he does and how he came to play like that. Basically, he started when he was very young, and as a kid, he didn't have enough strength to pick up the ball with one hand. So he'd at the cradle, look at the cradle, he holds it with both hands. That's how he started as a kid, using it with two hands. Because he hasn't got his thumb on the ball, he needs his left hand that's in front there to support his backswing. And you can see his backswing is very, very short, comes up, and that's all thanks to his left hand holding the ball. And then obviously when it comes through, he uses his right hand. But with only two fingers in the ball, it generates an unbelievable amount of revolutions on the ball, which gives him that, that awesome power. How, much, how much of an advantage is that when you're throwing the ball down and you've got more power than your opponent? Will it, will it make an average ball into a good ball, if that makes sense? We've got, you've got so much more power. The thing, the thing is, normally what would happen, you gain this huge power advantage, you lose a whole lot of accuracy. So sure, you might strike more than me, but you're going to miss more times than me. So you come back to even, but what makes Jason Belmonte and Oscar with a style so fantastic is that they're so accurate. So now you, if you can be as accurate as me and have the ball hit 10 times harder, you've got all the advantage yeah, in your, yeah. If anyone looks likely to get this maximum 300, which luckily enough we've been spoiled with over the last two years we've had them, it's going to be Oscar. We thought we were going to get it today, but sadly frame eight, things didn't go according to plan. Was there a difference in his approach? Was the, the way he released the ball any different, or was it just a case of it didn't happen? Yeah, I mean, the, 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 technically it's so, it's so important that you let the ball go exactly the same. Perhaps you've got a little more rotation, the ball went a little wide there, and what happens is actually the, the bowling ball comes almost behind the head pin slightly, the angle's a little different, and what that does, it causes the uh, six pin to go around the ten pin and leave the, the corner pin, which unfortunately in our game, at, at our level, that's what happens, that your little mistakes are nines, you know, so, yeah, unfortunately it happens, that's why it's so difficult to throw a perfect game, because you have to be perfect, just like that, but uh, still early days, and I think we've still got time I, to see one. I think there'll be at least, well,